Hello, this is Adam Watson, and today I'm here to talk about the new Google Drive integration into Schoology assignments. Uh, this is a really exciting addition to Schoology. Um, in short, it's going to really make uh, Schoology work a lot like what Google Classroom uh, does and does very well. You can create a Schoology assignment. You can uh, add a Google Doc or Google Sheet or, or whatever the case may be, a Google file onto your assignment. It will digitally create copies that will be sent out to all the students inside of your course and uh, they will be able to edit and then submit those back to you. All this within Schoology. This also creates a new folder structure inside of your Google Drive that will allow you to have access to all those um, student files inside of a particular folder for that particular assignment and again this is very much the way the Google Classroom works but now uh, thanks to this upgrade it integrates seamlessly into the Schoology experience. So uh, I'm inside of a class here and I'm just going to show you an example of how I would do that. Um, you're going to go to add materials as a teacher like you always would, add assignment, and we're having some errors happen here so bear with me. Okay, um, we would create the assignment with a name, description possibly as far as instructions, due dates. We're going to have to do a category, so I already have one created called formative, so I'll choose that. Numeric is fine. We'll leave these defaults as is. Again, all this you can specify um, later if you like. The main thing I want to show you is the new button here, which is Assign from App, uh, which is the Google Drive Assignments. When you click on that the very first time, it may ask you to log into your Google Drive and, um, and give credentials and allow permissions for it to access your Google Drive. Please do so. Uh, I have done that already. So clicking on this will take me straight to this Google Drive. Uh, just like the app of Google Drive that normally works inside of your Schoology experience, it'll probably have the most recent um, file that you've been accessing going backwards in time. Uh, but the search function will probably be very helpful here. So, if, for instance, if I go to template and do a search, take a moment, take a moment, take a moment, it should bring up a uh, Schoology template here that I can attach. Okay, it'll remind you what file you're attaching. You can only do one Google Drive uh, file at a time. It'll say this is create a copy for your file for each student. If I want to change my mind, I can exit, uh, I can hit the X to make it go away and attach something else. At this point, I would hit create and um, the assignment would be live for you and the students. However, I have already done that, so now I'm going to show you from the student, from the, excuse me, from the teacher's side what that looks like. If I click on here, I can see in the center face looks different than what you may have normally uh, seen at other Schoology assignments. Assignment, um, here's a description, here's what it looks like, okay. I have a student who's actually right next to me, Beth Cook is our volunteer for the day. Um, she's the one student in my class so far. It's in progress. It looks like Beth has not opened this assignment yet. So I'm going to just go back here and as it's thinking, I'm going to have Beth who's next to me with her laptop actually submit this assignment so you can see what it's like and what it's opened up as. Um, so you're going to go to my document as a student. She's going to hit the submit button. Okay. It's going to ask for her to connect to her Google Drive. Meanwhile, while she's doing that, okay, you can see she's still accessing her drive, so that's why we have that message. All right. So she has now, she's in the middle of progress of that. And if you see here, I've highlighted Beth's name. I'm actually seeing live. She's going to be typing here at the very bottom underneath the horizontal line. She's about to submit this assignment. So again, it's just like a Google Drive experience. I'm seeing live in action what's happening. <laughs> All right. Now she's going to submit that assignment. And here I can see the submission. I can see that Beth has submitted it on time. We by default had a 100 point grade inside of Schoology. But I'm seeing this, I can edit it. I can add comments, all the things that I could do inside of the Google Drive uh, experience. 
Now, I'm going to end this screencast with uh, what does it look like inside your Google Drive itself. So if I go to my drive, okay, I will now see a folder called Schoology Google Drive Assignments. The very first time you do this inside of Schoology, it's going to create that folder. Do not create this. This is something that Schoology is going to create at the point in time when you first do a Schoology assignment integrating Google Drive. Then I can see here that there's a folder created for this particular course. Okay. Inside of that, I can see the name of my particular assignment for this particular course that we just assigned. And last but not least, we're seeing the assignment itself. Um, again, if I had 30 students in my class, I'd see 30 of those uh, files and copies. One of the things I love, and this is just like Google Classroom, is notice that um, automatically it starts with her name. It named um, the file her name, hy uh, hyphen, and then the name of the assignment that I created in Schoology. And so that information is there to pers you know, personify and identify that very, very quickly and easily. And then, just like any other Schoology, uh, excuse me, any other Google Drive doc that we both have shared access to, uh, I can go to it here as well. So, in short, you've just seen how wonderful it can be with this new Schoology uh, Drive and Google integration. I hope you do some awesome things with it. Thank you so very much for your time, and thank Beth Cook for helping and playing the role of student today.